Manual Drilling Mizuzu Method The Mizuzu drill is a very simple manual drilling technology. It can drill 15 meters deep in soft and medium hard ground layers. It cannot drill through stone layers and not deeper than 6 meters under the water level. All tools are simple to make with local materials. See manual at www.chakana. Help slash resources slash water. Stone punch. Drilling pipes. Buckets. Pins. Clamps. Augers. Balers. Poly pipes. Choose drilling bit according to soil type. Stone punch for hard layers. Core auger for compact soil. Spiral auger for soft soil. Combination for loose sand. Baler in wet soil. Using a stone punch. Hammer down. Swing around. Lift up. Turn 90 degrees. Repeat five times. Empty the punch. Start again. Using an auger. Push it down. Turn five times. Lift it. Empty the auger. Start again. Make the started hole as deep as possible. Use extension too. Collect soil samples for each meter. Fill drill lock. Soil type. Drill speed. Water level. Keep doing this until the borehole is completed. Prepare casing. Cut filter slots along the pipe. The diameter of the casing pipe depends on the type of pump. Prepare casing joints. Heat the pipe end and make new socket. We are going to use tools inside casing. Make sure that the inside edges are smooth to prevent damage to tools and casing. The bottom of the first pipe needs to be wider than the pipe. This way, the hole will also be bigger than the casing pipe and will give the pipe space to move down. Correct filter placing. Ensure that the first 6 meters of the casing are slotted. Incorrect filter placing. When there are no slots at the soil layer where water can move, then no water will enter the pipe. Until now, you have been drilling without casing with the stone push or auger. When you reach the water level, then you will notice that water will wash off the soil from the punch and auger. Then you can carefully insert the casing pipe, which you already prepared, in the hole and start using the baler inside the pipe. When casing and baler are at the bottom, Park caching and baler pipe with tape so you can monitor which pipe is going down. Using a closed baler, move baler up and down in the pipe. Use long and fast strokes of half a meter. Continue as long as water and soil mixture splash out at the end of the poly pipe. You are slowly taking out soil. The baler should go down. The baler is creating a hole under the casing pipe. Eventually the hole will be big enough for the casing to drop down. If water stops flowing out at the end, clean the valve in a bucket of water. Or use open baler and empty it frequently.
With open baler, use short 5 cm fast strokes because we don't want soil to splash out at the top of the baler. It is always a good idea to turn the baler so the hole will be round. Repeat until you think the baler is full. Then pull the baler out of the hole and clean it by pushing the valve in, allowing the soil to flow out. Make sure the pipe and baler is clean before entering it again. Attention! Do not use a hammer to force the casing down, because the soil around the casing will collapse and vibrations will compact the soil and increase friction. Better, hang weight on the pipe or push it from time to time. Adding casing pipe. After the first pipe has entered the hole, glue a 1 or 1.5 meter pipe on top of it and continue. Make sure there are no sharp angles that can damage your equipment. When you can't drill any deeper, you can add gravel pack. I have cleaned gravel all around the pipe while shaking it. Check the level of the gravel pack. It must be 2 meters above the filter screen. Pump testing. Pump out as much water as fast as you can to clean the borehole. Count the number of litters or buckets per hour. Check if the gravel has been down and add gravel if needed. Making a hygienic seal. Make a seal between casing pipe and borehole wall. Use the cement slash sand mixture on top of the gravel pad. Closing the well bottom, fill a small plastic bag with cement mortar. One part cement to two parts of sand with very little water. Carefully drop the bag into the casing pipe. Let it harden at least three days. Finishing the tube well, make an apron, drainage, and soak pit according to the standards. Install the pump according to the wishes of the customer and the performance of the borehole. See manual? Troubleshooting. If soil is very hard like compact clay and you did not yet reach the water level, then add some water to the hole. If the soil starts to become wet and falls out of the core auger, then start using the spiral auger. If we are in a sand layer and the baler does not take up soil, then make the water in the pipe thicker by adding some fine clay. The baler is empty and when lifting it, you hear water splashing out. Then there may be a stone keeping the foot valve open. Rinse the valve in water and remove the stone. If the baler is going down but the casing pipe seems to be stuck, then you are digging a hole under the casing pipe. That is good? Continue your work. Make the hole bigger. The stone, which is blocking the pipe, will probably fall down after some time. You will have a great hole for water collection at the end. If the baler is stuck and can't move up or down then sand might have some between the baler and the casing. Clean the baler more frequently and possibly add some water while drilling. If you can move the baler down but not up past a specific point then it is probably stuck under the casing pipe joint or against a broken part of the pipe. Tools must be designed to move freely inside the tube. No sharp edges. If the borehole does not provide enough water then the filter screen might not be in the correct soil layer. Slots must be at a soil layer in which water can pass easily. Thank you for watching. Let us know if this is useful for you or if you would like a few days of practical training.